Hey guys, it's Shay and welcome to Shay's Kitchen. Today I did things a little different. Um, I had a lot of things to do to prepare for Thanksgiving dinner. So I decided to bring you guys along with me. Um, today has been a day, let me tell you. Y'all just stick with me and y'all see what happened to me today. Um, but that's a different story. I just wanted to bring you guys along with me so you guys can see how I prepare for Thanksgiving and what I do as far as how I live, make my list and, you know, plan out my trips basically. So I don't want to chit chat too much because I got to show you guys how I'm getting ready for Thanksgiving. Hey guys, it's Shay and I'm at work, but it is the Tuesday before Thanksgiving and when I leave these doors today, I am going to be running to get all the things done that I need to get done in order for Thanksgiving to be a hit, which I am hosting this year. So I just wanted to quickly show you guys what I have here. So this is my, my planner and what I love about this happy planner is that these remove. So the sheets themselves and so what I've done is just stuck in my to-do list so this is what I am um, cooking uh, that has to leave the house for other people and then I just have a running list of all the things that I need to do the menu and everything that I need to make those items and then another short list of all the items for each specific dish. So that's there. Now on over here is where I'm going to get these items. So Costco, Walmart, or Kroger, or a combination of both of those. And then there's a master timeline, basically what I'm doing Wednesday morning, and then what I'm doing Thursday morning, which I'll have to fill in after I complete all of these things. So um, I'll be back later on. I'm going to take you guys with me as I go to the grocery stores and just kind of like vlog everything and try to keep you in the loop as to how Thanksgiving and essentially Christmas is done in, um, in the family. So I'll see you guys later. It's so, oh my goodness. Um, I'm sitting in the, in the parking lot at Costco and I showed you guys earlier my plan. I was gonna get off of work and I was gonna start hitting up the stores so I can get the things that I need for Thanksgiving. And yo, I'm driving down 85, minding my own good business, and my car just starts up just to shake it, just to shake it, just to shake it. So, needless to say, I had to literally put put to the mechanic and get my car to the mechanic. So I am just now making it to Costco and I still have to go to Kroger and get what I need for Thanksgiving. So I got mom here. We're going to run in, get what we need and then hit up Kroger because a girl ain't trying to be out all night long because I got to bake a cake tonight too. All right, so we're going to try to get these little items that are under my Costco list. Oh. No, mother. We're gonna get these items that are under my Costco list. Let's see if we can get in and get it out. But mom, I got my mom with me here and she loses her mind in here. You know, I'm gonna have to just pull her out. Grab her by the ponytail and just pull her on up out of here. I told y'all mom goes crazy. I lost her. Now look who's walking up right now. I'm done. I got everything I need. Really? Waiting on her. Who else knows that Thanksgiving turkey and dressing just ain't the same without this jelly cranberry sauce? I know people make it homemade, but you know what? Give me the stuff out of the can all day long. A lot of you were asking how many pounds of sweet potatoes would I need in order to make my pies, my granny's pies. And honestly, guys, I don't weigh my potatoes when I come in. I just look for round potatoes like this so we're gonna get this one and this one it's a good size and so is this one so 
These are what we consider baking potatoes. At least this is what I consider baking sweet potatoes. And so what I don't go for are shapes like this because that's not going to give you much pie. Um, so anything like this, like this, but larger, like this, that's what I'm looking for. Not the long ones like that would do for like candy yams, but not the little small ones. All right, so I'm on the baking aisle and most of what I need out of Kroger is here. And so for you guys that make dressing, this is my favorite cornmeal to use, but they only have this one. What's the difference? White cornmeal bolted enriched. This is the one that I usually get, but it's open. As you can see, it's open. And they only have one. So that's not gonna work. Mom, have you ever used this one? Yeah. They only have this one. What's the difference? I've used both. It's not really a lot. Both is supposed to be a lot. Cornmeal, of course. But both are good? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna grab this one. And when I make my cakes, I always get this cake flour, but my mom just picked up one and I think I'm pretty sure that I have one at the house. So I'm not gonna get another one. Carnation milk. This is the only kind of milk, carnation milk, or canned milk that I use too. And we have some at the house. So I'm just going to get a few more and pour on top of my sweet potato souffle. Y'all, we made it back from the grocery store and here is just a glimpse of all the things that I had to pick up to do my portion of the meals. So this is basically four macaroni and cheese, green beans. I'm making three cakes. I'm also doing veggies. I'm doing asparagus and Brussels sprouts. I have a pan of dressing and also a pan of mac and cheese to send out the door. And so yeah, a girl is going to be busy because I have to go ahead and start baking one of those cakes tonight. So I just wanted to share with you guys just a little glimpse of the groceries that I picked up tonight. All right, guys, so that'll do it for today. I am going to try my best to come back tomorrow and show you what me and mom will be doing all day tomorrow for the most part to prepare for um, dinner at my house. Yay, I'm hosting. Um, and we're going to have quite a few people. So I just wanted to bring you guys along so you can share how we do Thanksgiving over here in Georgia um, with the family that we have here. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy Wednesday morning, guys. It is about 8.30 and I'm behind schedule. Why, you said? Because I stayed up late last night. I did finish my cake. I, well, when I say finished, I finished baking it. I still have to ice it. Um, and I edited my video last night. But I was supposed to get up at 6 this morning so that I can ice the cake prior to my appointment that I have today. But that did not happen. So I'm already behind the curve, which it happens. It's happened before, I'm sure it will happen again. But that just means that we're gonna be in crunch time today and we might bump into each other a little bit, but it's okay, we'll get it done. We'll get all the things done because that's just what we do. We get it done. So I'm about to run upstairs and get dressed and um, try to make this appointment. Then we're going to come back and just literally be locked down in the house all day, cooking and prepping so that everything goes off without any flaws tomorrow. So let's just go get her done. So I have made it back home and the majority of my errands have been ran. Um, I have yet to frost the cake, so I'm going to show you guys how I frost my cakes. And as you can see here, my little doohookie 
on my head. Because granny and my mother always told me to wrap your hair because no one has time to be finding pieces of hair in their food. So pound cake down, I'm about to put this in the oven. This is gonna be a lemon pound cake. I put it at 300 degrees, um, a cold oven, so the oven is not preheated. And this is gonna take about an hour, hour 15 minutes, sometimes up to an hour and 30 minutes to cook, but we're just keeping an eye out on it. Kendall is not helping right now. Excuse the mess in the background. She's snacking. And mom is cutting up peppers and onions for her dressing. And I asked her, mom, are you gonna help me with mine? And she was like, <laughs> I'm just gonna cut mine up. So that was a hard no for me, a hard no. I'm getting no help with my veggies. So like I said, I'm gonna just go ahead and put this in the oven. As you can see, it's not preheated. I'm just gonna stick it in and set it for 300 degrees. My red velvet cake just made it into the oven and I'm just checking my timeline and the girl is doing good. Right here, big pound cake in red velvet, 3.30 prep veggies and great cheese. And it is now 3.32, so my timeline is looking good. I'm just gonna go ahead and do these things here. Might get Kendall to help me, but we rocking and rolling. Mom is making potato salad, so her potatoes are ready. She's getting everything out, and she's about to put it together. I might record her if she allows me. No. Sorry, guys. She She's not giving secrets out today. The red velvet pies are out of the oven. You can tell when they're done when they pull away from the sides. So that's done. And my... Pound cake is still baking. It's not quite done. I just checked on it. So we're going to go ahead and move over to the shredding of the cheese. This is just preparation for the, um, the macaroni and cheese that I'm going to be making. So I have my helper here, Kendall. She's going to shred the cheese for me. So Kendall, go ahead and put the cheese on the top. And guys, this is the best way to do mac and cheese is to shred your own cheese because it just melts perfectly. Now stick that in. All right, now you just push high. Wait, Kendall, not like that. Push high down here. One hand on this. Yes. Pay attention to what you're doing. I can't do it, it hurts. It's not working. 
So we had some malfunctions. We woke up this morning and a few of our outlets are just not working. So I, I don't know what's going on. So we had to switch locations. Now she can get to going on the shredding of the cheese. All right, and let's go. Yeah, just push it. You gotta hold it. Let's be serious, guys. I am trying to tell myself that I'm not tired, but my feet are saying otherwise. And yeah, I'm tired. But I'm gonna keep telling myself because I got a lot to do, a lot to do. I'm about to start cutting up my ver my portion of the veggies um, because I'm making a pan of dressings for my, um, how do I say that? My aunt, it's my husband's aunt. So technically my aunt and um, I don't need as much um, veggies cut up as mom does but like I said she refused to do mine so now I have to do my own mom you tired a little bit y'all shit tired my post it I sure will. <laughs> you heard it, y'all. Did y'all hear? I'm tired. And I'm going to have to go ahead and close this video out because ain't no way in the world I'm going to get all this that I got to get done. Done. If I have to keep stopping and reporting. But just know your girl is still working and still working hard. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you will be notified each and every time I upload a video. I truly hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.